the data tree in Hawkeye will display all of the data that you have in your currently open database. You always know which database you have open and where it is from the database path that is displayed on the top of the screen here. To get to the data tree, you would click on this data tree tab and from here you will see all of your projects in your current database. The database is organized hierarchically, so from the very top you have fields slash companies. You can name these whatever you want. Most users name this after the customer they're working for, if they're a service company. Under every field slash company, you have a project. The project level is very important because it contains your surface location, your units, and your north reference. To edit your project data, and likewise to edit anything in the data tree, you would right click on it and select the edit option. In this case, to edit a project, it would be edit project. When I open up the project editor, I'm able to rename the project, select the safety rule set, which pertains to the criticality of one through five in this program, a translation of the separation factor at any given point, and I can change the linear and geodetic units. It's very important to get the north reference selected correctly at the beginning of a project or when you import a project. Although the program can convert azimuth values halfway down the line on any project, if you were to switch the north reference, this may lead to confusion and erroneous data. Clicking on Set Project Geodetics will open up the Surface Location module where you can select a map group, a system, and a datum before putting in either grid coordinates or lats and longs. If you're drilling in the United States and you know your state and county, by selecting state and county here and then clicking Set, the system and datum will be selected for you automatically. Click Save and Exit to save your changes. Below every project is a platform slash pad, and this platform pad also has a location associated with it, as well as a default elevation. However, the locations most important in this program are the project location and the slot location. Going down from the platform pad, we have our slots. The slot is represented by the Derek icon. If I right click on this slot slash wellhead and then select the edit option, I will get some very important information here, namely elevation, RKB or rig floor height, and site error. The site error is usually three feet and it's merely the amount of error associated with the exact location of the hole at surface. Down here you can define the wellhead location by using either northings and eastings or lats and longs. You can also define a wellhead location using local coordinates. In order to use local coordinates, you need to have more than one slot wellhead. In this case, for the slot named offset 1, the local coordinates are defined as 20.14 feet east and 14.81 feet north of the referenced slot wellhead. I always know which slot is my referenced slot because it is in bold in the data tree over here. If I were to go to this reference slot, I would see that its local is 00, zero because it is the referenced slot. Under each slot wellhead are curves. There are two kinds of curves in Hawkeye, work curves and proposal curves. You can have as many of each under any slot. In this example here, we have two plans or proposal curves and one work curve. Also associated with either a slot or a pad are targets. All objects underneath a project are going to dis be displayed in the 3D space. It doesn't matter if the target is associated with a slot or if it's associated with a pad. Also listed under targets are lease lines and hard lines. Hawkeye will only have one project open at a time, so if I were to open project 2, you'll notice that project 1 closes as project 2 expands. This is because of the hardware limitations most computers have in rendering 3D space. So remember to keep all wells which may have an anti-collision issue with each other under the same project.